Booty Licker 69 asks, do I eat ass? Okay, let's go to the next. Joe Swanson asks, do you know Candace? It's weird, I don't know a Candace. What is going on, all of you extremely good looking people? Welcome back to my life. So, I have a little update for you guys, and on top of that, we're gonna be doing a little Q&A. And the update is, I got a camera. I got the Sony A6600. I am super excited to have it. I make no money off YouTube. This investment, I believe it's gonna be a good investment. I hope you guys appreciate this investment. But yeah, also update, I haven't posted in like a month now, I know. So I was supposed to be getting this camera, like, I don't know, what day is it right now? 22 days ago, I got the camera and everything. The lens took forever. Like it just came in today. I was gonna film this Q and A. Actually I did film it, but then the footage got corrupt and I was like, Ugh. and then I also work 70 hours a week. Okay, enough of me complaining, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna have bangers for you guys. I promise that. And I'm gonna be trying to do two uploads a week. Obviously, I'm not gonna promise, but I'm gonna try. For sure, I'm gonna be doing one. Believe that. So, let's hop into this Q&A. Let's go. So, first question. John Stark asks, ask question mark? Yes. B. Lee asks, what are your plans slash goals for the channel or fitness moving forward? Well. I'll answer both those, Brendan. My goals for my channel would be obviously to grow. I want to grow a really strong fan base that loves me. I don't want to just have like those videos that it's like, oh, someone just finds me because of like, let's say how to lose weight, like whatever. And then like, I want them to stay for me. And like, obviously I want them to learn from whatever content I post. Obviously I'm not the greatest um, like knowledge into fitness, like whatever, I'm still learning. I'm only 19 guys. So I'm just trying to give out any advice I can. And I just want to cheer someone up if that's through comedy or something that I say, or I can motivate someone from what I've done. So like, that's my goal with this channel. And also I just love making content. I love making videos, love editing, filming, and yeah. And then for fitness moving forward, right now, I've actually really started to take my cut seriously. I kind of like BS'd it for a while. And I think part of that was because I just wasn't motivated. Like, no gym right now. Gyms still aren't open. They keep closing, whatever, whatever, whatever. But I've definitely done like a really good or sorry routine like built. So, yeah. So fitness moving forward would be shred down i want to get down to at least like 200 pounds by the end of the summer right now i'm like sitting at 225 so i think it's definitely doable but yeah so that's that that was kind of like long sorry if i like ramble long but yeah guys brad lowe's ass how are you so sexy genetics just like calves varun nagandran ass when are you or when are we gonna see the 24 hour fast on G Fuel? Very soon, my friend. Very soon. If you guys go through any of my videos, you guys will find Varun commenting something about G Fuel. This guy loves G Fuel. So we will be seeing that or you guys will be seeing that soon. Believe that. J underscore John underscore Neville asks, favorite meal from Greg Douchebag's cookbook. I think he misspelt Doucette, but um would probably honestly have to be the spicy uh, rice cakes. They're just so good, like it's so simple. So they're my favorite thing because super simple to make, fast to make, tastes amazing, and yeah. Brock Bale asks, did you work out much before taking it seriously? Um, well, I played football and I also played other sports, but mainly like football. I was trying to like go to like the next level with it. Didn't really happen. 
but that's like for other reasons, I guess, but like whatever. But um, I didn't really fully take it seriously. Like I'd go in, hit bench, that's it. And yeah, kind of took it seriously as soon as I started to lose weight, fell in love with it. And yeah, right now I'm not at my best looking for body wise, you know, but what can you do? Pitsy ass, what's your motivation? Right now, not much. Like, my motivation for YouTube would be, like, I don't, okay, kind of, like, has to, like, break off in different ways, I guess. So, for YouTube, it would be that I truly do want to pursue this as a career one day. It's a passion of mine, you know, filming, editing, as I've said. But, yeah. So it's one of those things that I have to like pick at when I find time. Sorry, when I have to make time for it. Oh, sorry. How do I word this? I have to make time for it when even when I feel like I have no time. And that's what I should have done the last few weeks that I did not upload. Sorry about that. But I literally didn't have a day off for like 21 days. And then I had one day off. And I had to go up to Ottawa to look at a house because trying to move in to there for school next year so yeah sorry hills ass. sorry hill ass fitness influencers you look up to slash follow and why top three would have to be will tennyson greg Doucette, and jesse james west i look up to will because i feel like i can relate to him and i feel like we have very similar personalities with jokes that we say and like sarcasm i guess um also, you can learn a lot from him. Greg, great knowledge, and he just says it as it is, and that's what everyone needs in their life, in my opinion. Jesse James West, um, just I respect the heck out of his grind. Um, I really do. <sighs> yeah, those are my top three right there. A. Lee, two ass. Favorite zero calorie drink? Right now. Honestly, I've been loving the freaking what's it called? Favorite? Oh, that's that's actually tough. I'm gonna say I haven't had that many. I've had like root beer, freshka, zero sprite, um, canned dry, whatever, whatever. Okay, let, let's just cut to the point. I'm gonna say root beer, but I love root beer, so that's mine. Let's see what the next one is. Polo blends. This guy's my barber. He's 15. Does a freaking sick job. Shout out to you. Favorite sport? Football. Love it. Teaches you all about life. Teaches you just how to be a man, how to work as a team, how to just do everything, you know? Love that sport. Love watching it. Have a lot of respect for people that play it at a high level because it's pretty messed, man. But yeah. Will White asks, Lana Rose or Riley Reed? I'm going to say Lana Rose next. Mama Swole. Shout out to you, Mama Swole. I don't know if you're actually going to watch this or not, but shout out to you. She makes super cool content. You guys should go check her out. Really, I don't know. Just, just go check her out. She makes good fitness content. But her question is, what's the best thing about Canada? And I'll tell you what, I filmed this about three weeks ago and it was snowing. So my response was nothing. It's snowing right now. But my response for right now would be, I honestly still don't know. Like we're just in lockdown right now, whatever, whatever. Personally, I want to say like the scenery, but like you guys over in the States also have amazing scenery. I don't know. I feel kind of dumb for not knowing how to answer that, but that's my answer. <laughs> Theo's in pain asks, what is your favorite cheat meal food? Um, I would have to say it is, oh man, for dessert, cheesecake. I love cheesecake. I also love donuts. But like cheesecake. So good. But for actual food food. 
you know, I don't really view things as like cheat meals though. I just make it working with my calories because I look at calories as like money in a way. It's like today I only have two thousand dollars to spend. Well, two thousand calories, two thousand dollars to spend that'd be a lot, but whatever. But like, yeah, today I only have two thousand calories to spend, and it's like, do I spend it dumb or do I spend it like wise? So it's like, um, do I spend 230 calories on a Joe Louie or like whatever calories they are. Like, you know what I mean? On junk food. Or do I spend 200 and whatever calories on a salad? That's a big salad. That's a pretty big salad. But like, you get the point. So it's like, that's how I view it. So I love pizza. I love burgers. I love sushi. Sushi is actually like my number one chief meal food, actually, now that I think about it. But it's like, how can I just make it work? You know? That's how you have to think about it. Re, uh, re, uh, uh. I'm dyslexic, by the way. But as I was trying to read this, reveal real. What's the weirdest gym encounter you've had? The weirdest gym encounter I have had would have to be so I'm at the gym filming my friend Dion, and I'm filming him, and we finish filming like incline dumbbells and this guy comes over to me he's like um you're you're filming us i'm like no i'm not like i'm filming like this guy and he's like no you're out here filming us you're here. And i'm like no i'm not man he's like you're you know, filming my wife's ass i'm like i'm not filming your wife's ass like what are you saying he's like yeah you are you're filming my wife's ass he's like let's go outside for a walk I just want, it was like winter time. Like, I just want to be like, no, man, like, it's kind of cold out. Like, let's wait until like winter. I mean, winter's done. I didn't say that. I'm like, bro, like, look at the footage. You're not even in it. Like, calm down, bro. And he's like so fired up and pissed. I'm like, I'm trying to explain to this guy that I did not film his, him or his wife. But he's trying to play it off that I filmed his wife's ass. Like, whatever. Weirdest thing ever. And then we like, there's like a track at my gym. So we took like a little lap. He comes over, like, I kind of like shortened this whole story down, but like he was like fired up. Like he literally wanted to fight me. Like, I wish it was like recorded. Like it was so bad, but whatever. So we walk, sorry. So we take a lap, right? And he comes over to us and he's like, whatever, whatever. Um, Like, sorry. Like I just had someone like, whatever. I'm not going to get into it. But he had, like, a past experience of someone filming him. Whatever. I'm like, yeah, man, like, we're not filming you. Like, we're not. And, um, whatever. I'm like, yeah, so I see you here, like, lots, man. Like, he always gives me, like, really dirty looks or did. That's besides the point. But I actually have a different story that I think ties into this. But who cares? That's for another day. But short story. Or, sorry, to keep it, like, short we talk, I'm like, yeah, so, like, what's your name? And he's like, oh, my name's Gosta. So I'm like, oh, you're Greek. He's like, yeah. I'm like, so then I talk to him in Greek, and then he has a huge Greek mentality, clearly, because of, like, how he wanted to fight me. And as soon as I, like, told him that I'm Greek, and, like, we talked for a bit, and I'm like, yeah, I'm, like, from Greece, moved here in 2008, blah, 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 blah. He was like, it was, like, my long-lost cousin. Like, that's how he was, like, acting. I'm like, Bro, like whatever so yeah and then for like the next like three days he was apologizing but yeah that was definitely the weirdest thing ever weirdest encounter kind of scary too but yeah will mancini asks how are you staying in shape during quarantine i'm not man like i've just been i walk every single night with my brother i'm thinking about doing a twenty five thousand step every day for a week video so let me know if you guys are interested in that but yeah so i haven't really been like i've just gotten into biking but then again i don't really bike that often like i work every single day have one day off on monday but most time i either have to do stuff around the house or i actually get it off or it's raining but yeah no i'll be bike i bike in the mornings after work i just try and get it in but i do walk every single night which is great. N3VI11E, I think that's supposed to be Neville, asks, 
What do you like most about doing YouTube and why? Well, I'm very new to it, so I'm still learning, but I definitely love trying to make someone laugh. Well, like, not trying, but, like, if I can just make someone's day, honestly, like, that's what I strive for in a way. Like, how can I make someone's day better? How can I teach someone something? I think I've already kind of said it earlier in this recording, but that's kind of, like, what I go for. Um... I love just making an absolute banger of an edit to me. Like, obviously, there, there's people way better at editing and filming than me. But I, I tried my damn best with my iPhone for the longest time. I think it was pretty good. I'm still going to be using this bad girl to film, um, like, some scenes. Like, I want to do, like, a chip truck vlog. I don't want to bring this beautiful beast with me because it's hot in there it's blah 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 and plus this is easier pop this guy up blah 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 yeah yeah you get the point so yeah and this question right here shout out to the man himself pedro this guy number one like day one support i mean everyone watching right now is a day one supporter i'm only at like i'm not gonna say how much but not a lot of subs not enough to get monetized yet. So, but yeah, this guy, day one, like, been DMing me. If you guys ever want, reach out. I'm sure I'll get back to you. But, yeah. Um, yeah, shout out to you. But, the question is, the question is, which question do I want to answer? This guy sent in a lot. All right, I'm going to pay. I'm going to answer ultimate goal for the year. Lose weight, keep it off, but we're good. Like, I'm sick and tired of, like, kind of moving up. Because, like, like, a big part of that does have to do with not getting in, like, I don't know, like, the gym. Like, it's such a big part of, like, my routine of, like, keeping weight off and stuff. But, yeah. So, definitely, like, keeping weight off. Um, hopefully, I'm going to love my program do really well. In it this year so I switch programs um, I'm at Carleton University I was taking environmental engineering hated it hated my life I had like nine courses a semester it was hell but I also just never really fell in love with it so I'm switching into food science I think that's a little more up my alley I think it's gonna be cool I love sciences I love math and I like food and I think it's if I decide I haven't decided which way I want to go with it yet but I think we're really gonna enjoy it though so yeah and then I'll also answer top five places you want to visit I want to visit oh, this might sound so dumb but I want to visit California I want to visit um, I want to go back to Greece again I'm supposed to be going back like last year, but then COVID came along. But yeah, love Greece. I want to visit Japan. I think that'd be cool. Um, Australia, that'd be cool. I don't know, somewhere. Like I'm just down to visit wherever, you know? But yeah. Uh, celebrity crush, Greg, you said. John Croxon. 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 You know, John asks, how do you lean balk? So I've never like lean balked. I've never been lean enough to lean balk. But the idea of lean balk pretty much is, um, so you increase your calories from maintenance, let's say by like two, 300. So then in the gym, you'll be making more progress, but it's not, your calories aren't so high where you're going to just be packing on fat. So the point of it is you increase calories once you kind of like start to like plateau in the gym. Like this is like how I understand it. I'm not saying that I'm explaining it right. I'm not saying I'm explaining it wrong. This is how I understand it. So once you start to plateau, you add like another 200 calories and then you should see progression and you shouldn't really be like getting like really fat off it but you will see an increase in strength 
So that's like kind of how you eat in bulk. You just kind of like increase calories slowly. Um, and by doing that, it, you won't be packed on so much fat. So yeah, that was the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys heard a difference in the audio with the mic. I hope you guys saw a difference. But yeah, love you guys. Sorry about kind of being away for a bit, but I was freaking busy, but that's not an excuse. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like button. If you guys are new, make sure to subscribe and we will see you next time. Peace.